guys welcome back to the channel today in this video i'll be showing you how to flash a plus rom and json prime and for this you will need this rom file and the other two are for routing and for uh, g apps after downloading this for which the link is in the description switch off your device and get into recovery mode by pressing volume up plus home plus power button at the same time and if you don't know how to flash tlrp recovery on a device i will leave a link in the description for my video and i will also leave a card check it out after getting into TWRP recovery, go to wipe, advanced swipe, now select dialog add cache and cache, and then swipe to wipe them. So this will have the caches on your device. Now go back, go to install, and now select the file which you are downloaded. In this case, it is A plus ROM. Select it, and then swipe to flash the ROM on your JSON file. So this is how flashing is done via TWRP. So this will take some time, but I skip the part. And before skipping, guys, uh, these ROM files they don't come with G apps, and you need G apps to live every day to get through every day because you can't use the Play Store or Chrome. So after finishing this, just go back and select the G apps package and flash them. After finishing them, just give reboot system. This will reboot your device into the newly flashed Samsung Galaxy A plus ROM. And we all know how JSON Prime was when it launched with TouchWiz, the ever popular TouchWiz which sucks. This is a much better OS from Samsung, that is the uh, Samsung Experience which Samsung calls. And this came out with the Samsung S8 series. And this is much better compared to TouchWiz and the one UI which is going to come to other devices are much better than Samsung Experience. Here you go guys, the Android is upgrading. And first I was skeptical about how the performance will be because this is a 2018 ROM which I'm flashing on 2018 smartphone. But I was pleasantly surprised because the device runs so smooth and you'll see it for yourself. Here we go guys, the smartphone has booted up with Samsung Experience 8 on top of J7.2015. And this smartphone is talking Android 7.1.1 which is Nougat. And before this the smartphone was running on Marshmallow based on TouchWiz. But this is much better because Samsung Experience offers some smooth, smoother performance than TouchWiz. And one more good thing is that this ROM, this Samsung A Plus ROM supports Google Pay. Most of the ROMs, maybe it, it may be AEX or Lineage OS or Aura, they don't support Google Pay because they violate Google Pay security terms. But this ROM, as it is based on an official Samsung ROM, this supports Google Pay. So. That's all for the video guys, hope you liked it, subscribe to the channel and like the video and share this video to friends who may find this useful. I'll meet you in my next one, peace.